what's going on everyone god bless you all praying that everyone is doing well <sighs> brothers and sisters another tragedy hits in nigeria and we definitely definitely have to <sighs> keep praying for our brothers and sisters more more than ever you know uh, god knows these kind of matters that's happening in the world right now but we just we just gotta stay strong brothers and sisters we gotta we gotta stay firm uh we gotta keep our faith strong and trust the process in the in the word of god but let's take a look at this article as to what is what just transpired over there muslims hijack bus unalive the driver kidnap all the passengers once again as i said before as these muslims go go are going around and if you can't see this kind of example how islam spread it and you get this lies about islam is peace and this is why we have to bring this up as always the media is continuously focusing one place with this war going on and they need to start looking at the whole picture people need to get their lazy behind and start reading their doctrine, their ideology. Let's stop this whole nonsense. Well, Christian did this too. I, I get so tired of this pathetic way of argument. Uh, the Muslims and the Christians just to say they fought among each other. No. I, I, maybe I need, I need to call out on the atheists that a lot of them dealt with in the warfare too. Wasn't the Roman Empire at the time a bunch of pagans, atheists, China, all these other places? And you want to focus on one area. But the mindset you need to see is who ideology teaches as a religion that has to say that you have to go unalive and force these people to convert. There's a difference fighting offensively and defensively, defensively in the righteous way. Let's see. Coming from out of the Jihad Watch via through, let's see which news article. Through the Sahara reporters. It says my contact in Nigeria informs me that the perpetrators in this case were once again. And I'm, I'm hearing you too. I got some friends that I connected. You know a lot of these Fulanis. And I think currently they still have a Muslim president in Nigeria. I don't ever recall when, when Nigeria had Christian presidents. All this kind of problem persisted. It's still a majority Christians. It's almost like 50-50 but they're just slight above. But you see the example of what happens when you put a Muslim leader in charge in the ideology, in the hadith. And in another video, I will post sources where when you see the judicial system, if something happens, let's say a crime is permitted by a Christian against a Muslim, or a Muslim hurts a Christian, a lot of times they hurt a Christian because that person is Christian, forget about it. They'll still give the, give the fair treatment to the Muslim against the Muslim. In a true republic... They look at you as an individual, not putting with your faith aside, even if you may follow a false religion. Because fairness is important. Hurting somebody is not something that you want to do to control people. As for the captives, the Amir ruler in the, has the choice of taking the most beneficial action of four possibilities. The first to put them to death by cutting their necks, as it says in 47.4. Surah 9, 5, 929 and other places scattered around the Quran and Hadith. The second to enslave them and apply the laws of slavery regarding their sale and manumission. Manumission, I think, is a way like just taking their wives, I think it is. Or if they take a captive that's married, they could just do whatever they want with them or release them. Oh, manumission, I think it means like to release them also. I may have to double check on that. The third to ransom them in exchange for goods or prisoner. And where do you think the slave trade comes from? If African Americans that are fighting or any nation that lives in the West to understand deep in the history is trying to blame the white guy, these kind of practices are still happening today. Yes, even within their own people. Skin color doesn't matter in other places. It all comes down to ideology, what their belief system is. And this is the third ransom in the exchange for goods for prisoner. And the fourth to show favor to them and pardon them. Allah may be exalted, says, when you encounter those infidels who deny the truth of Islam, strike their necks, as I mentioned before, Surah 47.4. And also, 
uh, Mawardi al Aham al Sultaniyah, the laws of Islamic governance, and the other many Sharia courts. It's crazy how how bad these ideology is. You know, they fight with you, say that you don't know the scripture. They expect you to read every other book. This is how disgusting this book is. That Allah even lies. He says that he brings a clear book, but apparently not. He needs the other people to explain on top of another book, on top of another book, on top of another book. Let's see from the Sahara Reporter. Came out a couple of days ago, February 10th. Government suspected to be kidnappers have reportedly hijacked GEO motors coming to the southeast from Lagos State, southwestern Nigeria, and abducted all passengers. The kidnappers reportedly killed killed the driver of the bus and left a little girl behind after kidnapping her parents. Oh Lord, please, Father God Almighty, bring justice alongside other passengers. All those Sahara reporters could not ascertain the exact location of the incident that was said to have happened on Friday. Voices in a video of the incident shared by Senator Ned Nooko on his ex-formerly Twitter said that the vehicle was coming from Lagos. In the video seen by Sahara reporters on Saturday, a voice said the bus is a is coming from Lagos. We stopped together at Akur and ate. Meanwhile, the senator has decried the attack, nothing that was one with the reason for the law on self-defense, which he is sponsoring at the National Assembly. You see why when 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 our country was founded, they understand the, the greed of government controlling people, especially with the Islam. The people the Christian community needs to protect themselves. They need guns. Despite what other people said, God gave a defensive measure. I believe there's a scripture that says, you know, that, that they carried it. So I think it was in Luke. Luke it was, you know. Uh, I can't have, I don't remember the verse on top of my head. Uh, what it mentions about just to protect yourself. Even when they sent the disciples out two by two, they always have to have something to defend themselves. Not in a way going around looking to attack people. But there's a point in time you can't just let the abuse get you. And I like this is the problem with Muslims say, I think your Christian is about love. Well, if you know it's about love and you always talk about that talk that you that you love, that you're more of a you love Jesus more than the Christian does, then act like it. It's simple as that. We do that. Your problem is that woke mentality because Abu Qasim, who they call Muhammad, and I think we need to take that title away after many discovery. Muhammad means the praise one. The praise one refers to Jesus Christ. So as the Jews that, could, that sees his lies as a false prophet, always mention him by the name of Abu Qasim. So Abu Qasim, the dirtbag, as I like to call him, a whiny little prick who can't control himself emotionally, can't handle tough discussion or decision. As you see many times in the Hadith, when they ask him a tough question, he wants to get angry about it. And you see that mentality. What's the point of preaching religion when you're going around unaliving? Is this the is this the Islamic way of dawah? Convert or unalive? We need bigger numbers. Oh, look at me! I'm the fastest growing religion. That thing means nothing in God's eyes. The moment you start thinking that you're the side of the devil, where does the devil play in this, oh Muslims? You don't talk much about the devil. You're so blindly to think, well, if Muhammad said to marry a 90-year-old, I guess I'll just do it. No idiot. You, you, how, how does Satan place in this role in this? Marrying young kids? You can't escape your conscience that God designed. No way that the living God would allow something like that. That this type of attack. And shame on the world leaders. You know, I, I am so sick of the world leaders, you know. But we, in this moment, I realize and I learn daily that I'm going to trust God. I'm not going to stop praying. I'm never, as the Bible says, never cease to pray. There is power in prayer, but we have to be patient. And the more we come together in the body of Christ, imagine what God can do. The attack has attracted angry reactions from Nigerians who also share the same belief that, that if this is law on self-defense and residents on can carry arms. The kidnapping monster will certainly be be teamed or timid, it says. It makes a big difference when you protect yourself. You don't have weapons. This is what they do. They'll come, come after you. Bad guys will find ways. Bad guys even right now have weapons in every game corners. And they worry about citizens that truly is defending. That's why the leftists are weak. Hear me out, left. You are the most weakest leaders. You suck. 
you're weak in national security, you're weak in economy, you worry about people's feeling when these same people don't give a crap about you. And if you liberals think that siding with the Muslims is going to solve everything, let me tell you something. For those that know Islam, they're just patiently waiting when the numbers grow. Then the people that partner with you liberals, then if you allow them to have the upper hand, as the Quran says, then you need to follow their ways or you'll get unalive and you need to pay the jizya. And I'm telling you this from experience from what I was learned and taught. So there you have it, folks. Like it, share it, bring more awareness. Keep bringing more awareness. Never fall for the lies of Islam. Don't let these people sugarcoat you. This book is so bad that the book even teaches to lie against non-Muslims. So trust on the ones that left the ideology, like myself and many others. Because these people won't give you the, the full scoop. So till next time, brothers and sisters, let's pray for them. Keep sharing this. Make it match up. Every time they bring up about the Palestine thing, Palestine just a front for the name. At the end of the day, it's Islam versus the Jews versus the Christians versus everyone else. The devil definitely got his own religion right here. Forget about Satanists. Islam is a Satanist religion. God bless you all, and I'll talk to you soon.